and let's get on to the uh, astrology of this kid. What do you guys think? Before I pull up the... Ch okay, so let's do this. Oh, let's just... Let's do this. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny. Today, we're going to look at the chart of Kyle Rittenhouse. And for those who don't know, Kyle Rittenhouse actually has the same birthday as Greta Thurmanberg. Interesting. And we don't know, or I don't know, either of their birth times. So for all intents and purposes, their charts from uh, the perspective, my perspective, without them having a birth time, it's going to be the exact same chart. Interesting, isn't it? I think it's pretty interesting. Let me show you guys something first. I'm going to show you guys, let me move. I think, I think we're going to have the verdict around Thursday, Friday. And I'll tell you why I think we're going to get that verdict in a couple of minutes. But first, I want to show you guys Britney Spears chart so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so check this out. So let me show you what's going on in Britney Spears' chart. And then I'll show you some similarities that's happening in Kyle Rittenhauer's chart. So what's happening with Britney was this. There's, a, there's something, there, it's happening with Pluto. Can you see this right here? Britney's not done with it. So transiting Pluto right here is causing a lot of problems for Britney Spears. Permanent and difficult change. And so in addition to that, last year when Saturn was over, last couple of years, okay, whatever, Saturn, whatever, whatever, we'll talk about right now. So Pluto at 24 degrees, it's right on top of Britney's nodes. It's causing an, ex and in addition to that, it's making a very, very nasty square to her Pluto. But you can see, you know, and the sun is, even the sun is getting in on the action right here. So we're looking at it. You know, the sun is there. We're looking at it. And so when you, and then, you know, and so when you look at Britney Spears' chart and you see something like this, you say, oh, wow, there's a big change coming for Britney. Duh. <laughs> it's obvious, right? All this behind the scenes stuff, this Mars behind the scenes has been activated in the last little while. So you can clearly, clearly see as Pluto moves this way, it's creating this square. But what this particular chart is not showing is the planet's in motion. Pluto has been traveling from 24 to 26 degrees for the last little while. And that has been activating this square to Pluto and this aspect to her nodes, which is her destiny. Her destiny, her life, what's going on. It can be a force of darkness, you know, taking things away. It can be a hole in the chart. And Pluto's been going back and forth here, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, now Pluto's about to escape and move forward from this difficulty. So first with the nodes at 24 degrees right there, and then Pluto's going to cross the Venus, and then Brittany's going to be free. Got it? It's pretty easy. There are other things, there are other things in the chart which indicate all of this. How you know, there's more to it. I'll I'll point out um you know, in addition to, you know, for Brittany in particular, sudden and unexpected stuff's happening with their finances. Uh I think there's a possibility, very strong possibility. Uh, someone in Brittany's family might die in the next little while. Like someone might get very sick uh, in her family. Uh, there's, I think someone in her family might get very sick. She might get very sick unexpectedly. Um, money is in and out. This Uranus is a problem. When Uranus goes direct, it'll all be sorted out. It's not really a big deal. So there's more to it. And I brought this in because, like, just to show you, because I want to show you guys, this is going to come into play with Kyle Rittenhouse's chart in a minute. Okay. Hey, Beast, what's up? So are you guys seeing this? So have a look, guys. It's moving on, right? All of this difficult stuff. On the sunny side, we talk about applying aspects versus separating aspects. This is going to be very important in a minute. Applying aspects versus separating aspects. Pluto is applying to the nodes right now. Pluto is applying and, well, technically Pluto's starting to separate, okay? Pluto's starting to separate from the nodes and move towards the Venus. It's applying to her Venus and then it's going to be separating. So Brittany is not entirely out of this yet. 
something very expensive is going to happen to her and it's going to it's going to be a big change okay okay so that's britney spears now check this out when i bring up kyle rittenhouse's chart now this is kyle rittenhouse's chart k rittenhouse in this guy's chart, which is the same chart as Greta Thunberg's chart, check this guy out. So Pluto is right here at 24 degrees. And now we don't know his birth time. So we can't really say the moon. But the moon has got to be in here somewhere. <laughs> the moon is over here somewhere. But the we don't know exactly where his moon is. But if his moon is indeed, because I set it at sunrise, I set the chart at sunrise. So sometime during the day, the moon is gonna be in Capricorn. Now, as the moon is in Capricorn, it really does make this aspect, watch this, it really does make this aspect to Venus and Pluto in his natal chart. So he really does wear his heart on his sleeve. He really does, <laughs> he really does. He's just like uh, Greta Thunberg, really wears her heart on her sleeve he really does you know he does what he believes is right like uh for better or worse these these guys they do they do they mars it up they do they believe you know they wear their hearts on their sleeves and they do uh what they believe is right whether it's right or wrong or insane or the actions of some stupid kid <laughs> it's, it's all there you know that's that's what they do all right, so Pluto's kicking through. So there's more to it. There's more to it than that. So Pluto's kicking through at 24 degrees. I brought that moon thing up because Pluto is right here. The very same thing that's happening to Britney Spears. Pluto, except it's not a square. It's not a square. It's a harmonious aspect right here. And so Pluto at 24 degrees, you're going to see Pluto's going to sneak through and as it does it's going to pass his venus so he's going to be past it as well that's what i really think now if you guys ask me what i thought this guy's right so anyways okay so that's the big so that's the big stuff okay so that's the big stuff now i want you guys to show no there's nothing wrong with wearing your heart on your sleeve so uh but there's a lot with taking there's a lot wrong with taking uh the law into your own hands but that's subjective and I have a cultural bias to that. So watch this. Now watch up, watch closely. Venus, you guys wanna know if he's gonna get on or off. I really think the guy gets by. Watch this. This is today. Something sudden and unexpected Holy goodness, with this guy way down here. Can you guys see this? Did I do this properly? Let me move it up a little higher. Something sudden and unexpected with this guy. Transiting Uranus is making a major aspect of this guy's sun. Now, it's, it's retrograde, right? So check this out. It's retrograde. It will be coming back. So he's not entirely out of it yet. So... Because Pease was asking me earlier whether which chart I was going to look at. And I decided to look at this guy's chart to see what this guy's going through. Because I saw some stuff on the internet that, that I don't know if it made sense. I don't know. I, read, you know. I didn't know. A lot of people write crazy headlines on the internet. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'll go check it out myself. And a lot of stuff they were saying, uh, this guy doesn't have cold-blooded killer in his chart. <laughs> he doesn't have it. But I'll tell you what he does have in his chart. Okay, so I'll tell you guys, uh, let me just tell you about the case first and what's happening. So in the next couple of days, Venus is going to cross his sun. So when Venus, I believe, I believe when Venus crosses his sun, you know, and the sun makes this ask, the sun is going to cross his Venus right here. So we're going to focus on his loving and giving nature. I think there's a strong possibility that, um, and with Uranus, making an aspect to his son right here. But I also think I was this morning, there's stuff that's going on and the jury's having difficulty trying to figure it out. 
and trying to figure out, like they have some questions for the judge. And I think this Uranus might save him. I think something sudden and unexpected is going to happen to him. I think there's a part, I really think there's a possibility of a mistrial in this situation. Now, I don't really know what will cause a mistrial in court. I'm not a lawyer. The I'm not even American. <laughs> and clearly, I've never even been to Wisconsin. So I don't know what the laws are there. So I don't know this guy's rising sign. But I'll tell you something. If this guy was a Taurus rising, if he was a Taurus rising, and this is his rising right here, and then that puts his Saturn in his natal third house, stick with me, guys, then I'd say almost guaranteed this guy's going to jail. Almost guaranteed. But I'm telling you guys, even if he's a Taurus rising, that Saturn retrograde, wow, man, that's a guy who should be going to jail, but might get off on this Uranus technicality. Um, that's what I think. I think... I think he's probably, like when I watched, as I've been watching a little bit, I haven't really been watching it. And you guys know I'm giving you, I'm, I'm biased in this thing, right? Because I watched a little bit, but I didn't watch the entire thing. I only watched a little couple of bits and pieces. Okay, so check this out. So, hey, guys, first, what did we learn today? This screen that I'm using is not going to work like this. That's the first thing we learned. I have to shrink this up, but... Good question. No one's trying to take Taurus's freedoms away right now. Maybe he's, um, instead of, you know, maybe he's not a Taurus rising. Maybe he's a Virgo rising. <laughs> Is he a Virgo? Does he seem analytical and detail oriented? Not really. Not if you ask me. I think he's very, I think he's, uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's stop overly speculating. I'll just say that again, what I think, because it ties into something else. I think if he's a Taurus rising, I think he will get off. But make no mistake, I'm kind of trying to give you guys a little astro uh, lesson here at the same time. Pluto is making one hell of an aspect to that Saturn. Pluto is... Um, what else is Pluto doing? Pluto's making an aspect to Saturn. Pluto's making this aspect up here. Uh, just to let you guys know, it doesn't have to be a square to be negative. So that's the difficult stuff. That's his the difficulty that he's going through. Now, in addition to that, so and as if he was a Taurus rising, he'd be in a whole heap of trouble right now. But in addition to all of oh, in addition to that, Jupiter is plugging through, right? Jupiter is sneaking into the act right here. But I think, I, I think this little guy Venus down here and this little, and the sun transiting his Venus up there, shall I do that in a different color for you guys? I think, I think with Venus transiting right here, about to transit his sun. And I think with the sun about to transit his Venus, see, we're gonna see his softer side. When the sun transits Venus, we're gonna see his softer side. And then, and as Venus transits his sun, we're gonna see his softer side. And that's what's going on. In the, so that's what's going on. And, you know, the sun has been highlighting all of this you know, highlighting his Saturn, highlighting the potential for him to be, uh, have his movement restricted. And, but like, it's, but, but, like, but, 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 spit it out, Sonny. But Uranus is right in the game here. Uranus is making this aspect to his son. And Uranus is, you know, something sudden and unexpected is happening. And I believe it's going to like, I believe, I just, I just think either, I think he's going to get off, man. <laughs> I like, it's one of those things. Like Britney, he has a similar, well, when I look at it, he has a similar, similar, not the same, but similar aspect that Britney Spears has. And he has the same chart as Greta Goldberg uh, without the birth time. And I think astrologically, 
He's just in line for too much, uh, like Venus, his rapport, his opinion. The sun is now highlighting his Venus. It's about to highlight his Venus. So when this, I believe when Venus gets to 12 degrees, so let's go back to the color here, collect it. So when Venus gets to 12 degrees, Venus at 12 degrees and the sun at 26 degrees, I think he's going free, man. I think he's going free. I think we're going to hear about this either tomorrow or Friday. And then I think he's, I think he's free. I think there's something unusual going to happen. And I think that's what's going on. I think that's what's going on.